Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of U4S Congo. It's been a while since I played, so forgive me if I have forgotten what I was up to. Um, yeah, things are going okay. Um, I'm feeling starting to feel a bit of the pressure. There's quite a lot of Africa left to conquer for the achievement. Let's see, how are we doing? African power, 221. So we have about half the provinces. Of course, it also counts the uncolonized provinces here, so... Yeah. Oh, France seems to be in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> yeah, Paris is occupied by Austria. They are having one hell of a war. And so are they losing the new world possessions as well, apparently. And so Spain is on their side. Interesting. And we are, of course, still trying to placate a certain friend in the south here. Um, how do I do that? Other than sacrificing all my prestige. I don't have prestige, so never mind. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I have set you to passive. Can I possibly get that liberty desire down? Would be so nice if I could actually annex this bugger and be done with him, but... Uh, it might happen over time. We kind of blew it earlier when we let his rebels take control. That set us back a bit. But yeah, I think the plan now is we're basically to wait for the truce with Maltrix. Mali to expire, and we're going to feed uh, Timbuktu a lot of their provinces. And then we'll move over here and do the same with Ethiopia, feed them to Ajudan. Because we really need to start saving up our admin points. We still have some stuff left to core, and we also have to get at least this before we start uh, coring more stuff. Yeah, we really need the administrative efficiency. Yeah. I, sh I should have had that 50 years ago, unfortunately, if I were to be on, uh, on schedule. At least our manpower situation is good, and our money situation is decent. We still have some loans. I think I'm going to send him back here and start clearing out these interior provinces. And I'm going to boof, boof, buff, build up the army just a little bit. Uh, four more of you. Yeah, two more artillery at the very least. And the rest of you I can build, upgrade in place. Oh right, you're trying to beat down rebellions, of course. Um, <laughs> we need a bit more beefier front line. There we go. I know we were supposed to save our money, but... Oh yeah, uh, and other things. Since it's a new session, rivalries should change. Nothing interesting. Well, I suppose most of the big players are at war, so... Timbuktu loves us, and darn well better. Uh, I assume I've already done this with you. Yeah, 194. Uh, Arjuran, 191, and Kaffa. Yeah, Kaffa can stand to be improved a bit. So yeah, I just want to break Mali for good. And then we can deal with other things. Japan has embraced the Renaissance. Oh dear. It took them a while. Um, have we reached another culture breakpoint, by the way? I... Da -da -da -da. Where is the culture thing again? There we go. No, still at four. Darn it. That was a cheap guy, right? I think it was. I thought we just hired that one. Mm, ah, it's been, actually, it's been a while. Speaking of, can we do anything here? 
Uh, we do have the diplomatic support open if we could boost their loyalty. Oh, yeah, I can just take their money. Okay, so we are at a break point. Why haven't I demanded... Oh. Okay, so I've misaligned these intervals now. Arg. I hate doing that. And yet, when is that? 1674. So I can't do anything there. Yeah, fine. I'll just steal your money. I need the money if I'm going to hire an advisor. Mm, national unrest. How's the unrest situation? Well, that won't really grant us much of anything right now. I don't need one of them for any decisions, do I? Not going to be passing this one. <laughs> the additional missionary strength is nice, but the unrest? No. I don't want a plus one permanent unrest. That's just too painful. So I suppose it's going to be the production efficiency guy. Making 30.5 ducats right now. Uh, let me see. Trade also. Uh, the, the trade as at 40.5. 30.5, 40.5. Let's see what happens when we hire that guy. Oh, I moved you, so... I got confused. So let's see, 30.5 and 40.5 is now... Yeah... Oh well. It's a bit more money. I'll just repay one of the loans right now. Oh, yeah. There we go. Arawak has embraced global trade. Good for them. Mm, I was not going to fabricate more claims, right? Because I already had... Uh, I had one. I have two claims over there. Timbuktu has uh, three claims so far. China wear. Good. Not going to be building buildings as long as I have all these loans. Okay, conversion is done. Excellent. So many provinces to convert still. Without the Inquisitor, things are going to slow down a bit, but... Where do we start? Do I continue over here, maybe? I think I'll do that, just try to calm down some areas of the map so I don't have to scatter my troops everywhere. We group together, you're gonna just gonna clear out all the natives from these provinces. If I feel I can afford it, I'm just gonna send a slow growth colony there and deal with that that way. There be two more cannons. Oh, you already gotten them. Oh, never mind. Uh, those are being beaten down. Are there any revolts in progress? Uh, in Kebi and in Moshi. Okay, you go there and try to beat those down. Timbuktu got the printing press. I do need troops over here. Not many, but I do need a token force. At the very least. Oh my. Poor, poor Mexico. Oh, Granada has rebels. As well as being occupied. 
Yeah. Fun times. Not that I mind. No, oh, France is fighting back. Um, why are you still winning? Really? It's kind of hard to tell. And the war goal is Austrian conquest of Chalois. Okay, so do you hold the war goal, obviously. Great Britain has intervened. Oh, we'll see. Who is the stronger one in that battle, anyway? And the Castile actually has a sizable force. <laughs> Why more than France? Uh, Austria has lost... Oh, okay, yeah. Seems like the war is gonna turn because Austria is out of manpower and is murking up. France is also murking up. They still have manpower, but of course Castile is the strong contender there. If they've gotten their forces back, they're gonna do quite the number on them. My best friend in this game is gonna be Russia. Because they seem to be fighting the Ottomans every now and again. My goodness, look at the Ottomans. 74 mercs. The sad thing is that the Ottomans can probably afford it. Because I believe they are, yeah, they are by far the wealthiest country. They have almost no prestige. Hmm, fun. Fun, fun, fun. They're, of course, way ahead of us in tech, which is terrifying. Yeah, so getting this chunk is going to be by far the hardest part. And getting an alliance with Russia is going to be pretty much impossible because of the distance. And the distance is the, pretty much the thing. I'm hoping that once I get a bit closer up here, they consider us an ally. Otherwise, I'll, <laughs> otherwise I'll have to try to uh, go, go in here and try to meet them somewhere. Maybe uh, reduce the border requirement that way because they would be such a good ally against the Turk. Oh yeah, before I forget, you're gonna go and start killing natives. Do I have any leaders left? I don't think I do. Yeah, I have one dude left. Probably could do with more. Uh, ooh! Oh my, well thank you Empress Consort. 50 free admin points, I'll take that. I'll core a few more of the provinces. Uh, how many military points would that just cost me? 40! Ouch! Really? Okay. Well, we'll have to do it. I can't afford to babysit these colonies. Yeah, that's gonna take a lot of military points then if it actually costs that much. And I can't kill them by just entering and leaving because this number stays behind. So I have to this, use this. Is it based on army size? No. So why does it cost 40? Is it uh, per... Let's see, is it one point per 100? I assume that could be it. We'll see once we get up to this area. These also have 4,000 natives. They all have 4,000 natives. Ah, I need a province that doesn't have 4,000 natives. Okay, they all have 40,000. Oh, boy. Okay. It's going to be very difficult to test my little theory, then, if every single province has 4,000 natives. Which seems to be the case, yeah. So to clear out all of that, it's going to cost... Oh, good lord. The amount of military points for that is going to be staggering. 
If I were to switch into this instead, that would cost me one stability point. And doing that would of course slow down our global settler increase, that's the downside. So I have two choices, I can either keep killing natives and pay a metric F-ton of military points to clear out all the hostiles, or I take the one stability hit and switch over to the policy where they never rise up, ever, and I won't ever have to worry about that again. You know, I'm going to wait for a little while longer. I've cleared two provinces that there and there. That's going to be good enough for now, I think. Uh, what about the provinces down here? 7,000. Uh, these are much better. Much better. And let's go down there. I want to see if that's also... If that costs 70 military power, then we know. And most of these are just level 3 development, right? There isn't anything better than that. Oh, that one's level 5. This one's level 6. So there are a few that are marginally better. Okay, so up here there are a few level 5s. There we go, everything cored. Excellent. So now it's gonna now we're gonna save our points. That's gonna take until 72. And the war is going to start in 69. We'll see. Oh yeah, and uh, Portugal decided to take the Comoros Islands. So I'll have to invest with them at some point. Uh, given Austria's major war would now be a good time for that. Nuremberg and the Papal States, they probably won't cause us much issue. Mm. I wonder. I recall the Kaffan Diplomat, I just want to see how much of a problem that would be. Let's see, 7,000, will that cost us 70 points? Yeah, okay, so it's one point per 100 natives. So this should cost us five. This will cost us 40. I'm going to clear the one with 5. I'll, I'll clear both of them. You know that's going to cost us a lot of military points. And then at least I have options. How much extra would it cost us to keep in a second as not the colony going? Uh, that would cost us. Four ducats, I believe. Oh wait, is the war over? No, okay, so why did you... decide... whoa. Should be my ally. Okay. France, are you... would you consider being an ally with me? No. No trust and you're allied to Castilia, that's... Pretty much to be expected. What about you, Austria? Minus 50. The one I really want is Russia, obviously, but... Tsar them. Yeah, they are. Big and scary. And they have quantity, so yeah, my goodness. The Ottomans... The Ottomans do not have quantity, thank God for that, at least. But they do have offensive idea. They actually have only one military idea, that's... That's very little for, the, for them. When I eventually fight the Ottomans, I think I'm going to start a war for their possessions overseas. That would probably be better for us. We might even want to try to just fight... I think we might want to sh shuffle their alliances over here first. 
Yeah, we have options, but yeah, I need to focus on Africa. And Portugal decided to go against Cusco again. So let's see, if I were to declare war on you... The Pope wouldn't come, Nuremberg would be the only one. Interesting. Hmm. I was gonna fight Mali, but now I'm not so certain. Portugal, what's your situation like? Portugal, you're down in here somewhere. There you are. 25,000 troops. Portuguese Brazil has nothing. <laughs> nothing! Really? Okay, I have 5,000 troops in the area. I could actually conquer you. Ah, uh, interesting. Um, uh, but... Don't you have a Portuguese... Uh, what, do you, what is that called? New Portugal. Okay. How strong is New Portugal? And also be on your side. 11,000 troops, that's not much to worry about. 25,000 troops, your navy. Portuguese navy, 11 heavies, 15 transports. I'm uncertain now. I was going to deal with him, but now... Let's see here. Ploitz, you're going to go and pick up. Hmm... I go here. We're going to make a one little throwaway regiment out here, I guess. So, Portugal, do you have colon... Have you, do you have, have you colonized anything else over here? You have. You are colonizing something else. Pirates. Ugh. Pesky pirates. You go up here and pick up these guys. I'm going to start a trade company over here, I think. And up here. And I don't have anything there yet. Didn't make these cores, did I? Or there are other states? No. Mm, that wasn't isn't, isn't the state. Are these are? But that one is not. Did I form a trade company here? This is part of the India node, so... No, I didn't. Oh. Okay, so that one can't be... Uh, can't be made into a... Huh. I would have thought that could be a trade company too, but apparently not. Okay. But this could be? Yeah, this one is a trade company. And they're in the same state. Ugh. Weird stuff. Hmm. So, yeah. Austria would not come to the defense, the Pope would not come to their defense, we would easily be able to take... Oh, that's the only colonial sea we have, because we don't have a claim on uh, the Comores yet. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm tempted simply because this is a good opportunity for it. They also have California. Okay. So you have been colon colonizing a fair bit around here. Yeah, so my idea is basically to take the Comores, take the one possession they have here, and basically at least cut them out of this naval race. Uh, or the colonial race over here. Or curb them down a bit. Do they have colonies in the Pacific that I haven't noticed? I mean, they have California, so they must have something, most likely. We've gotten Hawaii or something. Mm. Doesn't look like it. Which color is this? Yeah, that's probably even the Society Islands. Yeah, well. I need to get an explorer. Yeah, I need to get an explorer. My goodness, I haven't done that for a long time. A long time. Um... Okay, let's shift things around a bit first. Do I have some barks left? No. Just caravels. You guys, head for port. You keep protecting trade. In the Ivory Coast node. Big bad, big bad ships. You're gonna go up here because I see that that's the Portuguese. All oh, right, that's the only one Portuguese ship. Go up to Cape Verde. I don't need to move these armies, I think. He, uh, we're gonna get the throwaway army up here. Could use more transports since I increased my base fleet size. Take a while to build. Arg. Uh, six more transports. I actually built eight. We have room to grow. And then there's you. I could probably use at least a cannon if they have a fort here. They must have a capital fort. Where's their capital fort? There we go. Okay, so they... yeah. Could use an artillery unit, at the very least. So I'll just build up a small force here. It's gonna take a while. Troops over there. Ooh, Cuscan Separatists, lovely. Like seeing that. The only thing is that I don't. Whoa. Okay, that's. No, oh, yeah, right. I wasn't supposed to attack you. I'm supposed to attack Portugal. I do have three provinces over here which we could potentially take. This is a bit of a sidetrack, but this is such a, such a good situation because Austria would not defend them. I'm gonna wait one more day just to see if. a few more days just to see if they get more friends in the Kuskin War. I don't think they do. Yeah, so it's just Portugal and their friends. And Austria is not willing to come to their defense, nor is the Papal State, so... Yeah, cut down speed and let's go. What's the worst thing that could possibly happen, huh? Yeah. Okay, so now we're at war, and we'll see how that pans out next time. Thank you for watching.